Access and Live. Let me get on my computer. So sorry I'm late, you guys. I was having issues. Issues, I'm telling you. I don't know why, but this I ended up restarting the computer and everything worked fine. So I don't know. Must have just been time to restart the computer. Hi, CB. Good. Not many people are here. So just issues. No big deal. I was getting frustrated, but I'm not going to get frustrated. Yeah. And then we won't talk about all the other issues, CB. <laughs> Hi, Joy. Hi, Elaine. So notification must have gone out. Hi, Eileen. Yeah. Having issues. But no more issues. All right, Eileen. I got all my junk out. And I have a lot of junk, believe me. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Dragonal. Hi, Cat. So we'll just give people a chance to come in. Um, my screen is really fuzzy, so check your settings and make sure you're on HD. Yeah, the picture should be nice and clear. Let me square things up here so we're not all crooked all day. Not that it's probably going to matter, but... Junk and messy. Yeah, no lie. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Imelda. Hi, Mindy. Hi, Joan. Joan, your card that you sent to um, Barb and Dee Dee were gorgeous. Hi, DeMonte. Hey, Dee Dee. Did you get your walk in? Hi, Tindaloo. I like that name. Tindaloo76. I think I got everybody. Good for you, Dee Dee. I should do that. I should just make myself go and walk the mile. It would not kill me to do that. Back to finishing the cards. That's a good thing. They looked really cool. And I think the one um, that the person was saying that they wanted, Dee Dee, it's a blue door and it's got, it's not the one with the stained glass, but it's got like leaded panes. Um, in the doors, I think, okay, because I'm going to say, I, I'm pretty sure that's the one she was talking about. Hi, Gail. So anyway, we're going to try today to make some washi tape using magical powders. And I'm not sure how the water or the heat, because Eileen wants me to emboss them as well. So I'm not sure how the water or the heat, either one is going to work with the tape, but we're going to find out. So um, Dee Dee showed this morning on her stream um, a card she got from Teresa. And I'll show another one because we did not get the same design. It will be fun and messy. So this is the card that she made for me. And I don't know how many people. But I have to say, Teresa's cards are always so well done and so gorgeous. Like, I don't know how she gets the stamping so perfect in those cutout shapes, but she does. It's just beautiful. And then she leaves it empty so that you can use it yourself. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. But isn't that just gorgeous? So, hi, Kimberly. So thank you, Teresa. I did read the letter. I love the whole part about Colorado, which I would because I know all the places you're talking about. Teresa's not here, but she always watches the recording, so I talk to her like she's here. Um, but her letter is um, about when she was able to hike in the mountains in Colorado, which I did a lot of myself. So I totally get what she's saying when she talks about doing that. Hi, G. Brody. I missed a bunch of people now. Yeah, Teresa does make gorgeous cards. And I'm so glad for her that she has that outlet because um, because of her disabilities and her health issues, um, 
she does spend a lot of time at home and like the rest of us i mean if i didn't have art i don't know what the hell i'd do with myself all day every day okay um shauna just said she'll be streaming today after me at 4 30 that's cool um but yeah i'm so happy for her that she has that outlet and then she's so generous with all of us so um you know if you think about it and you love her cards you might just donate to the postage fund because you know it's huge which yeah i try and do hi norma yours is different from ours yeah so she didn't just sit down and make like hundreds of the same one apparently that she switched it out which is really cool so um yeah chat always moves fast at the beginning michelle hi by the way when everybody's coming in and yakking so yeah so that was my card from teresa and then i have not bought anything new i will have a package coming tomorrow um i ordered what did i order eileen oh i know i ordered um some skewers and some linen thread but i ended up buying the book binding kit because it was only like 10 bucks and you got an all and you got four different kinds of thread and a um, couple of bone folders some needles i don't know what all but i'll show it probably next week if i don't get it all torn apart part before then so and then the only other thing i've been doing is um dd mentioned at her show that kathy arbor is doing um a drawing class yeah that's what I bought skewers and a book binding kit um, so this is the drawing that I did quickly that showed all the proportions while Kathy was talking it's kind of the baby she was drawing to give us the proportions of the baby and then she gave us homework um, so that I didn't do a baby I couldn't find a photo that I really loved of an infant hi Orla um, so I just drew like a little toddler that's getting their first little teeth. So I've been enjoying the faces, but you guys, you know, I love graphite. Like I can sit down and draw with graphite all day, every day. Hi, Lisa. Um, so this was my homework for um, Kathy. And if I get a chance, I'm almost done with my Santa that I'm going to try and do with pan pastels, but I, I worked on it last night and then I didn't finish it, but I'll show it to you when it's finished, but I'm going to do it in pan pastels, which I'm a little nervous about. So that's really only art, art wise, the only thing I've been doing. And then when I was at Kathy's on Tuesday, um, the reason I ordered the skewers and the um, linen thread was they're going to make a book out of or a journal out of the book that Dee Dee sent to. Kathy Berg and the binding is um, has the skewers in it and then you use the linen tape to bind the book together and they're I think going to actually work on it at the New Year's Eve streamathon that morning they're on in the morning and then I come on and I do the midnight time slot in the central time zone and I'm going to go ahead and do the scavenger hunt again this year. And if Eileen wants me to, I'm going to stream this Friday for her birthday. And we'll have a birthday party for Eileen. I will be partying. She might be at the bar. That's what she said she was going to do for her birthday is go to the bar. So I may have a birthday party for Eileen. She may not even be here. But um, I think Friday... I'm going to recruit you guys. We can do it now. Or we can do, you'll be drunk, so whatever. <laughs> Are you a little nervous about this birthday, Eileen? Is this a big number? Is this a number we should all know about? Like maybe you want to share with everybody? But I'm going to recruit you guys to help me come up with the list. Because honestly, the hardest thing about that damn scavenger hunt is putting together the prompts. And so I've started it. And because the book that we're making at um, Kathy Berg's and Colleen's is so big, I mean, it's going to end up having like, you don't have to make it that big. I'm not going to make mine 100 pages. 
Um, she catches up with you this birthday. Does it end in a zero? Hi, Anne. That's the good question. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do it. But I'm going to have you guys be helping me with the prompts. So in the next few days, if you think about it, write down some ideas. Um, and we'll put them on the list because otherwise I'm going to go back to former years and probably repeat some of those and see if I can come up with new ones. I've come up with some, I think, but yeah, that's the hardest thing. Yeah. So it's fun. And it's, you know, the nice thing about the scavenger hunt is it's, um, like stress-free. They like it's no stress. You just find something, slap it in the book, call it done. And you can get as creative as you want or you don't have to. Doesn't matter. It's all up to you. So now we're going to dig into some magicals. Magicals are kind of a mess. Um, okay, and Sean is saying, speaking of prompts, Eileen, guess what I'm doing for New Year's Eve? You're going to do this blind six, aren't you, Shauna? The blind six is always good. I'm guessing blind six. Blind six. Got it right. Yeah, baby. She had not told me. I guessed and I got it right. Y'all can pat me on the back later if you want. All right. Here we go. All right. So I got to leave focus. You freak out here because of this white background for a little while. A double blind. Cool. Blind six is always fun. No Roy this year. I know. CB. I think we should gang up on her and tell her she really needs to reconsider. And Roy is a friend of Lena's that appeared at the New Year's Eve streamathon last year. If you haven't watched Lena, her name is Linux, L I N U X. Oh, uh, what is it? Shauna, can you give Dave a lap dance instead? There you go. Now we're talking. Make a mess Monday, cat. Um, Miss Linux. Oh, crap. Now I can't remember. If somebody can remember. Put Lena's link in there because she's so damn funny. Anyway, making this washi tape. You know, I suppose you could like use deli paper or anything else and put double-sided tape on it or use your glue stick. Thank you, Elaine. L Miss Linux 2010. I almost said that. Um, you know, you can make washi out of anything, really. You just cut it into strips the width that you want, right? I have made, oh, I was going to get some of that out. I have made my own washi tape in the past you know single use for a specific project or something i don't generally make washi tape just to keep on hand but today we're going to do it and i was thinking i do like a christmas theme but then everything's going to be red and white and green and that's not very much fun is it so what i did was i took and i've tried several different kinds of tape. My favorite for washi tape to make on your own is just medical tape. And I have tons of this stuff around because if you've ever had somebody around on home health, every time the home health nurse comes, she brings you more tape, more saline solution. They bring gloves. They bring more of everything. All right. Eileen said, no, that's going to be boring. So we'll just do whatever. Um, but this medical tape, this real paper fine thin medical tape, to me is the best. But I've done it on um, the, the oh, what do you call it? Like it's kind of a material. But that is so sticky that you can't peel it back up. When it sticks on something, it's stuck. So I used, I chose this tape because it hopefully can take the water, it can take the heat. And still be usable when we're done. Because that's the whole idea here, right? Yeah, medical micropore tape. Use it for all my die cutting. 
You never tried making? Okay. No, we're not using gaffer's tape. Now, Eileen is just totally starting to jack with me already. Gaffer's tape, for you guys that don't know, is bookbinding tape. And I probably ordered the wrong stuff. I don't know. But, yeah, you can use masking tape, too. Um, masking tape is, I think, a little stickier. Here, I'll get out the gaffer's tape. This is gaffer's tape. This stuff, honestly, it's like carpet tape. I'm not kidding you. This stuff is so sticky. But the problem with the one I bought, it's kind of like a vinyl surface. And nothing really sticks to it. Um, use score tape. Well, when you say score tape, are you saying you put it back and use that as your adhesive? I use this, and then if it doesn't adhere well, I just get out my glue stick. Hi, Dorothy. So let me fix my computer cord. Okay, we're going to get busy here. Where's my paper towel? All right, and what I did so that I could um, have a backer on it and save it until I wanted to use it, score tape is best. Put on colored paper and cut. All right, I'm not, you need cotton gaffer's tape, silly. Well, I didn't buy the cotton gaffer's tape, silly. I bought what you told me to buy, and it's not the right one. So whose fault is that? You could have given me better instructions. See, that's the problem with you. <laughs> so I'm just going to, I put, I laid down the tape. Can you guys see the different stripes of tape? And then I can cut this any width I want and it will have its backer and will be, um, ready to use whenever I want. So you'll see that in a minute. Color may not stick on the plastic surface. Oh, I'm sure the, the color won't stick on the plastic surface. That's why I'm not using um, the gaffer's tape. That gaffer's tape to me now is packing tape. But it will, th this tape is more like cloth. So it's going to accept the color. Even the Tyvek, what I, that's what I was going to say is I put the strips of tape down on this Tyvek. And then I'll cut it the width that I want. The Tyvek is not going to take the color. Um, but the medical tape will. So let's just give it a go and see how it goes. I'm going to do this just like I would any other... Um, What is all over that? Anyway, um, I'm going to do this just like I would any other um, magical product. Hi, Sassy Studios. Hi, Terry. Um, hi, Travis. Haven't seen you around in forever. All right, give me some colors. I've got all my magical powders out here. I took them out of their original containers and put them in these little shakers. And then just melted the holes in the top. I got these off of the Wish app. God, I haven't even looked at the Wish app in forever. Um, but yeah, these are all my magicals. I buy mostly the flat colors. I do have a few of the, um, I don't know what you call them, sparkly, shimmery magicals. But most of mine are all the flats. I like the flats. And look at Eileen. Try blue, green, and orange. Surprise. There's orange. There's green. And there's, other than the dark blue, I don't really like the other blues, but we'll use the darkest blue we've got. And it's not very far different from the green, really. Should I do the navy blue? Is that blue or black? Hang on, I got to check here. That's the black. That's the blue. I don't have much blue left. She doesn't want the navy blue. She wants the light blue. I know what she wants. All right. You know what I'm going to do so that I don't have to have that much orange, blue, and green? I'm going to cut this down. I'll have this much orange, blue, and green.
Well, I'll leave that much. And gold embossing on it. Okay, and that was another thing. She wants me to emboss on it. So I think I have my gold embossing powder. Let's see. Yeah, there's gold in there. So we're good. We're going to give this a go. I'll put it on top of paper towel so I don't have such a huge mess to clean up. Okay, and the best way, I'm going to move my Focus You Freak tag. So, sorry if it's trying to um, focus, but when as soon as I get some color down, it won't. Okay, there's a little bit of water. Here's the blue. This is Caribbean blue. And I imagine this is going to, it's not going to um, run readily like it would on regular paper, I'm thinking. And I'll be careful, CB. And I'm only putting it places where there is tape, right? My tape is on a piece of Tyvek. Um, the other thing you could use if you um, didn't want to waste Tyvek, I suppose you could use aluminum foil, you know, something disposable, because this is actually going to be the backer until I get ready to use the washi. So um, I had originally thought I could put it on like a sheet protector. Um, and then just cut the sheet protector up. But then I thought, nah, just do it on Tyvek. I have a lot of Tyvek, so to me, it's I'm not wasting a valuable product. A lot of people don't won't have access to Tyvek, but for me, it just seemed like the best solution. Are you liking that, Eileen? What is Tyvek? Tyvek is T-Y-V-E-K. It's an indestructible material. Um, it's actually, if you've ever seen a house that's been wrapped in that white moisture barrier paper, that is Tyvek. Um, don't go buy that because apparently it's got chemicals in it. I didn't know that. Um, the Tyvek I use is the kind that um, they make envelopes out of. I know, but I'm not going to heat it. Well, I am going to heat it, Eileen. We're going to find out. I just won't heat it horribly. I'll keep the <laughs> I'll keep the heat kind of away. It's also used for kites, yeah. But Eileen's saying never use the industrial Tyvek. And I didn't know that. I'd have to go out and read about it and see if that's true or not. But this is what they use for envelopes. If you're gonna use magicals. Um, Magicals are put out by Lindy's Stamp Gang or Lindy'sGang.com, I guess. Um, you can get them in the shakers, but the ones that you get in the shakers are all shimmery. They don't sell the flats in the shakers. So um, they normally come in little pots. Let me see if I have a little pot here to show you. This is butt ugly, I mean. Um, Okay, I do here. They normally come in these little pots, in these tubes like this. But it was so hard for me to control because you've got to get like a little, well, if you're Didi, you get a chopstick. If you're me, you use a fan brush or a little spoon or something. But this is how they really come. I move them into those other little containers. But this is what I had left over after I moved them all. Okay, Eileen's saying, I get it from a kite company. It's really cheap to buy. Well, there you go. But Tyvek in the printing industry used to be very expensive. It may not be anymore because um, they do use it for so many things. All right, I'm going to pick up here and there where I think it's getting muddy. And if you don't get all of the, like, see right in there, that green has a lot of white in it. If you don't get the um, powder completely melted or dissolved, um, it will move. So 
you have to watch really carefully and make sure that all of your powder is melted. Eileen's going, those are such great colors. What's so dang great about them? All right. I'm going to take some of the excess off here, and then I'm going to um, I'm going to hit it with the heat gun, but I'm not going to get right up on it. Okay, I'm going to stay pretty far away. And I suppose I'm just going to try this real quick because I'm curious and I don't have to do it on the whole thing. I'll just do it up here to help it dry quicker if I picked up some of it with the paper towel. Oh, that would make it really muted. That would kind of be nice. Oh, now I want to try that. For washi tape, that could be really nice. I'll leave the middle one real intense and we'll do the two outside ones muted. But it should help it dry a little quicker, too. Yeah, that's kind of a lot nice. I like that. All right. If I keep the heat away, the Tyvek shouldn't melt. Hi, Jamie. And I'll get this a little bit dry and we'll do another color and then start swapping them out so that I can be embossing and working while another one's dry. Because if we have to sit here until this tape's dry, it might be Eileen's birthday before it gets dry. Eileen's birthday is Friday, by the way. I like melted Tyvek, too. We should probably put some ink on some Tyvek just to show them what's right. But that's why I'm trying to keep the heat pretty far away. It's headache day. Oh, no, Jamie. Go take some um, tendon or bear. Actually, I'm a little surprised that the tie deck is actually picking up some of that color. I really am. Here, I saved the flap of this envelope. I'm going to set this aside and let it just keep drying by its own self. I think the tie deck is actually pick color, which is really bizarre. I'm going to do the Magicals direct on tie deck. Just Oh, I did put some little bit of tape on here, but I want to do it on the Magicals just to see and because I'm going to try pink because that will annoy Eileen. Oops, get it wet first. So the mat, um, powder sticks has something to stick to. I didn't think the um, Magicals would colorize the Tyvek. That could be very fun because it's really hard to watercolor on Tyvek as well. All right, we're going to do pink and yellow, which will make a little bit of orange wherever they mix. You want a little bit of green in here too? Eek. We're going to add a little bit of the... That green is so powerful. Let's do a little bit of the blue. Confetti paper. Okay. This is just a big fat boy experiment is all this is. I just want to see if it colorizes the um, Tyvek. So I'm just going to set this aside and let it set. Maybe I'll pick up some of the excess moisture because look at how much excess moisture there is. 
but that could be really cool. Uh, now I don't know. I'm going to pick this up and move it. And today I was thinking I would do um, like Christmas theme. So I was looking at all my Christmas stamps. And I thought, oh, my God, I should show them all these crazy Christmas stamps I've got. The amount of Christmas stamps in this house should be criminal. That's all I'm going to say. I have, let's see, one, two, three, five drawers of Christmas stamps. Do I use them? Mm, no. All right, set that one aside. We're just going to let it dry however it wants. All right, this isn't too um, too wet yet, so I'm going to hit it with a heat gun again, and then we're going to try and emboss on this bad boy. It's going to be interesting when I have to hit this embossing powder with the heat gun. And I don't even like Christmas, go figure. I know. Make some Christmas washi. See, that's what I said. CB and Eileen told me that was boring. They were, most of them were my mom's. Yeah, I had a few. I had some Mary Engelbright stamps and a couple of cute, I did buy some really cute elf ones. If you guys want to see them, I'll bring the drawers out but I did get some stamps out to emboss but now Eileen doesn't want to do Christmas so what do we want to do I did get out um sing ink and just some background stamps but see I got out like this little um Christmas light I thought it would be fun to have like Christmas lights. So do I, Tindaloo. I love Mary Engelbright's images, her quotes. I love her art. I love her art. If you don't have um, the book about how she started, uh, you got to get it. It's so good. Um, I'm just thinking here, Eileen wants gold embossing, so... Um, I use, if you ever been to Dollar Tree, they have these um, pill organizers that have seven little containers. I put my embossing powder in them, and it takes up a lot less room. And, yeah, it's just easy. Keep them all together. They're all right there. There's my gold. I have some more gold downstairs. Where the heck will you use Christmas washi? I'll put it on an envelope and send a Christmas card somewhere. All right. I'm going to just do some general. I'm afraid if this is damp that the embossing powder is going to stick where I don't want it. So I'm a little nervous. Oh, what the hell? Let's just do it and find out. Let's do one down here first, just to get a feel for how it's going to work before I wreck the whole thing. Because if you guys think I've ever done this before, I haven't. I guess I should have gotten a piece of paper out. Let me see if I've got something here. I'll just use this. It's still sitting here. This is clean up from the other day. All right, it is damp enough that the um, the powder is sticking. So if I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to dry it more. 
I got a little bit of the design. Let's go ahead and heat it up on this end and see what's going to happen before we do the whole thing. It takes quite a bit of heat to um, get that embossing powder to melt. It's probably going to get the tie back. We're going to see, Eileen. All right, see, so you can see the Tyvek starting to melt right now. Careful, Tyvek. See, that's what I'm thinking too, Jamie. So, okay, I guess the other thing I could do then is put some tape on. Um, aluminum foil because then the heat wouldn't matter because yeah if I get this hot enough to melt that we're melting the tie that too all right there it goes it's starting to melt Can you see it starting to melt there in the corner? Let me see if I can even pull this off now. Might have melted the tape right to the Tyvek. Nope, I can still peel it off. But we're not going to be able to emboss this because the Tyvek is going to melt. So I'm going to have to get out. I guess aluminum foil would be the best thing. Right? We need a mask. That stuff is toxic. What's toxic? Oh, melted Tyvek? Yeah, I'll be all right. All right. I'm just sitting here thinking, now that we're talking about melted Tyvek, anybody who's never seen it probably wants to see what it does. But it's easier to colorize first and then melt. I'm going to get out some aluminum foil. We'll try it on that. Leave it to Eileen to come up with the freaking impossible. This is the only thing I can think of that won't um, won't be affected by the intense heat and still leave you with a backer. For your tape, unless somebody else can think of something. But otherwise, on this, I think I'm just going to have to stamp on it. I don't think I'm going to be able to um, emboss. Hey, Judy. Melt some Tyvek. All right, we'll do a little experiment before we go on. I'll just get out some um, inks and splatter it on the tie back. This is the back of that same envelope. So here in the middle, it's um, double layer. Leave it to Eileen. OMG. Should I try and colorize it with um, the Magicals? Might as well, huh? Since we got it out, I was thinking ink. I know ink will colorize it. But let's do some Magicals on the Tyvek and see what it does. Tyvek is not absorbent, remember. It is a moisture barrier. <laughs> All right, notice I didn't ask Eileen for colors because I knew what her answer would be. Um, let's see here. I thought I had that other one out. There it is.
Blue and Moose Poo. Eileen is so smart. That girl is so smart. She's not losing her um, wits with age. How about I put some gold in here too, Eileen? Would that make you happy? Make it a little shimmery? I got too much blue rod in there, CB, because you didn't tell me to stop. All right, we're going to get a little bit wetter. That looks like a big mess, right? You don't listen. No, I don't listen. Oh, that's CB. That's not even Eileen talking. That means I'm really bad. Now this whole thing is going to turn shimmery because I'm putting the grab a guy. I only bought this because it's grab a guy gold. I just wanted the bottle that said grab a guy gold. All right. Let's see about moving this stuff around a little bit. Do we want to do that? I don't know. Um, see, when I picked up just that little bit. All right. I'm going to have to dry this. Sorry, it's going to take a while. I'm experimenting. Grab a UPS guy gold. <laughs> I need to change my bottle, Diddy. Grab a UPS guy gold and then make him come in and read me the um, name of the product, right? I'll have that ready for him tomorrow, Diddy. <laughs> Grab a UPS guy gold. That's funny. taking too long. Oops, come back here. Now, Eileen doesn't like this color combination, but to me, when it's dry and I show it to you, it's really organic and really nice. It looks almost like alien granite or something. <laughs> We'll get some drippage going in there. I'll hold it up so you can see the really cool parts of it. It's actually drying really a lot faster than I thought it would. All right, I'll go ahead and pick up just that last little bit of liquid with his. All right, now I'm going to do the embossing on here. I'm not sure if I want to do the gold, though. Um... The shimmery didn't move a lot, but can you guys see the texture of the um, Tyvek paper and the Magicals? It's very cool looking. Very cool. Now I have no clue what I'm going to do with this after I melt it, but whatever. All right, probably the best embossing that's going to show up on this. Let me... All right, it should work fine. It's not the least bit damp. Um, here's choices. I've got clear, red, gold, silver, black, brown, white. I'm thinking the white could look really good on this. But because I can't see...
where the embossing fluid went. Hey, Carrie Ann, gold embossing. We could add a gold later. Happy belated birthday, Carrie Ann. I'm sorry I didn't see those messages until this morning. Um, but hope you had a really, really happy day. And probably if we're doing Australia time, what, that was probably two days ago now. Sorry. <laughs> this is probably the second time in a week I've had to apologize for being a bad friend. The white is going to look really good. Can you see that? Okay, Eileen's giving you a link for some Tyvek if you want it, because it's it's pretty cool stuff, I will say. Okay, and I just got some of the Magicals. I'm actually picking up the Magicals onto this. Um, I like that too much in there. I'll do it there. Um, yeah, and it's moved it onto my embossing um, pad, which is fine. I don't care. All right. I'll add a little bit of gold. I'll use the writing for the gold. And the gold, my gold is not real shiny gold. That gold that I have, maybe I brought it up here. Yeah, I'm liking the white too. I think the white looks cool on it. It really stands out. Let me see. I think maybe I brought that what, um, really shiny gold up here. But I think I tried. Okay. Well, here's one of them. Anyway, I'll try it. Let's try this gold, the Mission Gold. And I'll try it with some um, script. And we'll see how it does. See, I don't like, I'll just mix this gold in with that other one. I don't like this one because it's hard, you know, when you, oops, there it comes. I was going to say, when you tap off the excess, it's hard to get back into the jar. That's one nice thing about this. With the nice wide opening, it's easy to get it back into the jar. And I have not embossed stuff. Seriously, I can't even tell you when I've embossed stuff. The gold is going to be a little bit harder to see, I think. All right, I've got it three different places, so let's heat this up and see how we do. Eileen's so happy because I'm getting more stuff out and the mess is getting bigger by the minute. All right, here we go. We're going to heat this bad boy up like big time. Ready? What's Jamie? I hear the best way to keep them clean is to clean your stamps after using colored ink. I know you love messes at my house. Everybody loves messes at my house. All right, here we go. I'm going to have to get the heat gun fairly close to get the embossing powder to start melting. And when it starts melting, the, um, the Tyvek should as well. So here we go.
Can you guys see this? Okay, now if I had a really heavy book, which I don't, Hi, Scooby. It is. It's amazing. I have one somewhere down there. But then to use it on your artwork, you can, like, while it's still hot and moldable, you can smush it down and you get some really, really great textures. I'm going to heat it up again and try it again. And the gold, you can't really see. I guess it's because of the brown in the background. You can't really see the gold. But hang on. I'm going to do this again. And it will melt as many times as you get it hot, okay? It is alien looking. And it's not putting out any fumes, Elaine, so don't worry. I mean, what was the name of the Doors book? Oh, okay. That Dee Dee was looking at. Actually, watching Dee Dee do that this morning almost made me want to buy the Door book. That looks so much fun. But I'm not going to buy the Door book because I have so much other books and I have so much other stuff to do. I can't do it all. Okay. So you can get this melted where it's pretty flat again. And it will just keep melting. I mean, you can keep doing... Yeah, it's great background for the cover of a journal or anything like that. So, yeah. So now, one thing I want to know, just to finish this experiment, I'm curious. My guess is if I get this wet again, the magicals are going to move because they're not absorbed into the paper, right? So I'm going to try it here on the corner. I'm going to get it wet and see if I can pick up that color because I'm thinking I will be able to. Yep, look at, I'm picking up the color. Yeah, so this, this is really temporary. You could not put this, you know, you couldn't put matte medium or anything else down on it. Now, if you use any acrylic product, it would stay because when the acrylic dries, it's gonna stick to anything. So that's why I said, get out the acrylic inks to use with the Tyvek. The water-soluble products do not work well on um, Tyvek because they'll keep moving. I mean, just forever. Just like I could take every bit of that off, but it's still cool looking. So that was not why we were here. On this one, now this is completely dry now. Let me see if I can, I don't think I'll ever be able to heat this up enough. I'm going to cut that off. So I can go ahead and use the rest of the washi. What did I do with my scissors that I just had in my hand two seconds ago? I'm losing my mind. I think hanging out with Eileen makes me dumber. I'm pretty sure it does. Because every time I do it, I feel dumber. I have bought one of the door books after watching the Diddy Craft with them, but I'm not able to cut into it. It's too pretty. Um, I don't think I would have that problem. I have no problem cutting into a book. Well, maybe some books, but most books, no. I wouldn't have a problem one cutting into it. Let me see if I can get the impossible powder to melt. Tyvex going with it. So let me just brush this off then. Don't 
that's how much embossed before the Tyvek was about ready to give away. So we're starting over. And I'm going to put the tape down on aluminum foil. That should solve our problem. I'll just use the wide. Really, I lost my scissors. That's crazy. My favorite Muji scissors. God, I don't know what Robert's doing down there, but that's making a noise that's annoying as hell. All right, somebody pick some colors for fun washi tape. I think it would be fun to do Christmas washi, but what the hell. All right. I'm going to try and get the wrinklage out if I can. My bad. There we go. That's better. Just got here. What's she doing? Hi, Mary. I'm making DIY washi tape using magical powders, medical tape, and I'm going to emboss on them if it kills me. Red, green, and gold. See, that's Christmas colors to me. Um, and I hardly ever use the red um, magicals. They're just, these will knock your eyeballs out. So let's do some red first. Now, if I do, if I mix the red and the green, you know what I'm going to get. Red and gold, purple and gold. We're just going to do some red. And Lena is a crazy woman and thinks she can control the magicals. So more power to her. I don't think you ever are going to control magicals, but if she figures it out, I hope she'll show me. I don't even try. So that's just looking like red. Actually, there's some gold in that red. Red, pissy pink, and puke purple. Yes, indeedy. Is Julie here? Hi, Julie. Ah, oh, there's Lena. I knew I would get her to come out of the hiding. She came right out to say, I gave up. You cannot control them, can you, Lena? You can't do it. All right, now this is pretty right now. And I'm going to go ahead and use my grab a UPS guy gold. And I'm going to mix with it, but only in the white spaces. Here, here I am trying to control it after I just said you can't control this crap. But I'm going to add some gold. And then we're going to use like Christmas stamps to, to emboss. I don't want a lot. Because right now it's very pretty to me. Now, see, that's how I like Magicals, like it is right there. Magicals are a powder, yes. They're pigment in a powder, and, and the powders um, dissolve very readily in water. There's some that are more resistant. The whites are definitely more resistant to melting, and the gold is a little bit. The gold ha also has shimmer in it. Um, and they make them two ways. You can buy the flats or you can, I should do commercials for Magicals. Or you can buy the um, the ones that have shimmer in them. 
mine are for the most part flat. I'm not a shimmer fan for the most part. Bloody vampire medical tape. There you go, Imelda. The gold, though, and it's hard for you guys to see, I know. And when you're using these, it's crazy because like that gold, all of a sudden I've got a big old thing of blue there that had to be in this gold. Where the blue came from? Hell, I don't know. You don't put blue in because it's essentially yellow, right? But I've got a big old thing of blue there. And sometimes... I get carried away. CB can attest to that. Yeah, there's definitely blue in that gold. That's okay. It's cool looking. All right, I'm going to try and dry this. Yes, Scooby. Travis was here. I think he's probably still here. I haven't seen him leave. So, yeah. Travis was here. All right. Now this has standing water on it. So if I wanted to do drippage or anything like that, now would be the time to do it. But I don't think I want to. I think for Christmas colors, I like this right like it is. So heat gun. This is really pretty. I'm going to pick up some of that. Um, doing it on a non-absorbent background like I'm doing with the um, the Tyvek. I think the Tyvek probably wasn't as bad as the aluminum foil because the aluminum foil is absolutely not absorbent. And so what I'm ending up with is kind of like a puddle, which I'm not surprised. I mean, um, so I think I'm going to suck some of this up and then go back in while it's still damp and add some gold back in. Because otherwise, I'm just going to end up with pink paper, right? Oops. I'm going to add some grab a guy gold, grab a hunky UPS guy gold. And hopefully, I can get it to move a little bit without having to saturate it, right? And maybe if I use the mini mister, that might be, I don't have any water in it, but we can fix that. Yeah, we can fix that. Let's 
Sucking up puddles. Yes, I am. You can show that comment. I'm sucking up the puddles. It still is really, really pretty. And it's going to be pretty when um, I get some embossing on it. <clears throat> All right. And by using the wide tape, I can actually cut this. Um, as wide as I want, right? I could have half inch, three quarter inch, quarter inch washi. I could actually cut it as wide as I want. Hey, Jamie, now I'm blowing puddles. <laughs> I think it's going to be cool when it's embossed too. Just to give the color a little bit of variation. And I'm not going to add green right now. Um, just because I know when you mix the green and the red, you're going to get um, mud. You're going to get mud. So that's one thing about using Magicals is you have to be really mindful of color mixing because you can make a real mess. Believe me, I've done it plenty of times. Plenty. Okay, here we go. think are seeing the gold in a mix with this a little bit but not near like it really is showing and on this I've got to have it fairly dry um so the embossing powder won't stick to the moisture I just thought of something, how I could save Eileen's washi and still get it embossed and let this dry. So you guys think I'm sitting here mindlessly just not paying attention, but I am. I am paying attention. I'm going to set that aside and let it finish drying. And now that this is dry on the Tyvek, let's see if my little plan is going to work. And then I can emboss on it, too. I'll just pick the tape up and move it. Duh, that's the beauty of tape, right? All right, there is the magical on the um, Tyvek underneath. That's cool. All right, now we got a plan, man. And as you can tell, there was no plan before now. Did you all see that hump who's coming to teach at your local stamp store? You got a hump coming to your local stamp store? Is he going to teach pole dancing, Eileen? Did you sign right up? Said sign me up for the pole dancing class? All right, and the um, tape itself looks a lot more muted on the um, aluminum foil, and I can't do anything about the glare, you guys, so I'm sorry about that. It's aluminum foil, right? But we're going to see what we can do here. I think if I wanted any more color on this right now, um, this would be the time to do it. Oh, my God, he's from Greece, and he'll take you out for heroes. Oh, my God. You sure he's straight? There you go, Imelda. You went right to my way of thinking. Yep. 
Okay, so the the tape itself, when I get the glare off it, you can see it's really cool looking tape right now. Um, now we're going to try the embossing those. Well, I could make circles out of these, so I'll move them. Because even if you didn't want to cut it into strips and use it as washi, you could cut circles out of it and um, do like, stickers or something like that so i'm just going to move all this over there so i can throw this tie back away all right let's see what stamps i got out um well i got out christmas stamps but now miss i'm a pain in the butt doesn't want christmas stamps so let's see what colors, embossing powders we've got so I can decide. Silver, brown, I would use probably brown, black, white, clear, red. Not using red on this. This is gold. She'll want gold. I know she'll want gold. All right, let's try the gold again. I'll do gold script on this little one up here. Because keep in mind, I'm going to cut it into strips so <clears throat> but you know they will be bits of stamps so um forget eileen for a minute i agree jamie i agree i don't want to make her mad though it's her birthday week you know like I can piss her off all year, all week long, all year long. Oh, now the emboss that gold embossing powder is wanting to stick to all that. That's ugly as hell. Thinking, thinking, thinking here. But it's not, um, it's not damp anymore. That's the weird thing. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to, that brown is, that gold is just not going to work. I don't know if this is going to work, Eileen. I just don't know. Maybe it's the script because this one seemed to work a lot better. So let's try it. I'm going to do it on that same one, even though I know it's probably going to stick all over again. We're going to get absolutely nothing accomplished today other than sitting around BSing with each other, right? Yeah, that's not even going to work. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Because this is completely dry. It is completely dry. All right, going to the audience for suggestions. Ugly as hell. Yeah. I put in there not intended for children because the surface is kind of fuzzy and not smooth. Yeah, I kind of suspect you might be right, Jamie. Because I'm messy. I know I'm messy. But you know there will be bits of stamps. Yeah. Yeah, that's just, I don't see that working on this medical tape, Eileen, at all. Now, that white on the tie back worked awesome. Use an embossing ink pad. Use an embossing ink pad. What do you think this is? This is embossing ink. Emboss magic. How much better do I have to get than that, Eileen? Eileen? 
So stick in, I think Jamie's right. It's the surface of the medical tape that's not working well because it's stuck to the um, aluminum foil just fine. Just fine. It must be an ancient ink pad. It probably is. Do you? How often do you emboss, Eileen? The anti-static pad. Oh, I don't have one of those, but I do have a um, anti-static dryer sheet somewhere, and I can go get another one. I thought I had one down here. All right, I'll go get um, a dryer sheet. A dryer sheet is anti-static, so it will only take me a second. I should have poured more coffee before I went live. I should have known I was going to be aggravated. I'll be right back. Okay, got anti-static dryer sheet, which means your art is going to smell especially good, too. Bye, Lisa. Sorry we're not getting anything accomplished. We're just playing here, which is pretty typical. All right, I pushed off all that old powder. Try it again. But I suspect it's the um, surface of the tape, Jamie. I really do. And I'm going to use this because I think I'm going to get a better image with it until we get something that we think approaches coolness. Maybe. All right. Let's try a different color as well. Let's do black or brown. And another thing I wonder is, do the, um, I think Paula had this conversation about whether or not um, embossing powders um, ever age out. Does anybody know that? I have a bunch of um, embossing pens somewhere. I think I know where they're at. All right, this one worked better than the gold, but still not perfect. Where's that little brush? If it's the, the surface of the tape, it wouldn't matter what product I use, Eileen, is the deal. All right, here, I'm going to blow it to get the excess off and see. But it seemed like the brown worked a little bit better than the gold. You have ancient ones that still work? I'd have to, I'll have to check mine because I, I suspect they still work. I haven't used them in 20 years, I would bet. All right, there. Now that looks, I just gave it a good blow. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, Jamie. Eileen, all you pervs. Um, no, I'm going to try and heat it up, but yeah, it left some on there. Okay. Yeah, that worked. But Eileen, one thing I can tell you, this is a whole hell of a lot more trouble than it's freaking worth. Making sure I got it all. Heat it up. Okay, now we're going to let that cool. And actually, that looks pretty cool. Hi, Holly. You haven't missed anything. 
Worth for who? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is a whole hell of a lot more trouble than it's worth. Really is. Really, really is. We're going to let that cool. All right, it is fully melted. Now we're going to do pretend washi tape. We're going to cut it out. Because I need to get my ruler out. It's going to de-stress me. We're just going to test our product. Because honestly, if this is this much trouble, who the hell wants to do this? Walk into Hobby Lobby and buy the damn washi tape. I'm starting to sound like Eileen now, aren't I? Walk in there and just buy the damn stuff. Oh, my God, a ruler. <laughs> yeah, I'm faded. All right, here, we're going to move our washi over onto here and see. Because you can get this crap <laughs> at Hobby Lobby in rolls. I agree with Eileen much easier. It would have, I would have used cardstock watercolor paper with score on the back. Um, well, I know you can do that, but why couldn't I do that with any of the magical papers that I've already made? I mean, I've done that tons of times. There it is. Didn't have to put score tape on, didn't have to do anything. I think I'd feel a whole hell of a lot better today if I knew I had an order coming. All right, here we go. Here's the washi. The homemade washi. Can you guys see that? Yeah, but you can custom it this way. It will mean so much more. Probably. You think, Jamie? We're going to try the red. We're going to do the Christmas because then I can at least tape my Christmas card shut. Actually, I don't mind making washi, but it's this embossing crap that's driving me crazy. I would never emboss on my washi. Or emboss it after it's on. This one I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight with this, but about a second longer. Oh my god, use a ruler, it's not straight. I'm so gonna kick her ass. Hi Jean. You came here for the fight. All right, there we go. Eileen, I have to say that's way more trouble than it's worth. I like the the whole magical washi idea but this embossing thing i'm not sure i'm a fan because i can go get my other magical papers that we've made and turn it into washi Duh. so that has to sit right there all right here's the pink or the red this is what we can do christmas stuff on it's, ouch, it's still pretty damp. I really need coffee. All right, let me, all right, let me show you some of the cool places on this. See, but down here, if I hold it up. It's cooler than it looks when it's far away. And I think what I would do if I was going to do this again, I'm going to do it right now before I get any more heat on it or anything. If you really are going to use this to make washi tape, I would take one end of it to make it easy after you cut it and turn it over so you have like a little tab. 
to pull it off the, the backer with. You'll, you, you'll waste a little bit of your tape, but who cares? You won't get frustrated and want to slug Eileen like I feel right now. And I don't think we should slug Eileen when it's her birthday week. Any other time of the year, go for it. But it's her birthday week. Just stamp the damn thing and move on. <laughs> Hi, Nina Beaner. Now, I wish I had, I just threw away not very long ago. This would be really pretty. I'm just trying to think if I have a gold, a metallic gold paint. I'm going to look, see if I have a gold metallic. Because this would be really pretty to use gold metallic ink on. Is today Nina's birthday? Tomorrow is. Well, happy early birthday, Nina. Like I said earlier, Eileen's is Friday. The red and the gold, you guys, is really, really pretty. And I just threw my gold paint pen away. Let me see if I have another one. I should have one. It's just whether or not they work. Some of them really suck bad. All right, here. I'll see if that's metallic. This is an old one. This is metallic paint marker. Let's try that one. That's a white one. Um, and then this one says it's metallic gold. I've never used this one. I don't think. So we'll... I bought these um, during the Hobby Lobby sale they were normally 15 bucks for six pounds and i got them for 374 and i look this one late leaked so chances are it's not going to work oh there's still a ball in there though this is the one i thought i threw away Let's see if we can squeeze some. Oh, I know why I kept it, because the silver end. Was Judy's in chat singing to the birthday girls. Yeah, this one's just not going to puke out any ink. This was my favorite paint pen of all time, the Zig painty pens. Oh, they're so nice. And then this is a crafter's closet. I have no clue where I got this. Don't know if it's going to work. Looks like it might want to work. Yeah, baby. Only it looks more brown than metallic. All right, before I do this, what do I want to write or what do I want to I just want some gold in here. Posca pens are my fave. Yeah, I like Posca. Poscas are the best, no doubt. I don't have any metallic Poscas, though. These are my two metallics that I have, and I need to order a new one of these. 
But this one, this has been, oh, I've had this for years and it's always worked so well. Let me see. This is the one that I didn't know if. Oh, it looks like I. Huh, looks like it wants to work. Only it's brown. It's not metallic gold. See, and now this one, they say they're metallic. They're not freaking metallic. They're lying. So my only other metallic would be, but I've got to decide what I want to write or draw, too. I was just going to draw some lines. But I really do want it metallic. So let's see. Um, just look it up here in my specialty inks. See if I have any gold. Probably my favorite gold is going to be the fine tech. I was trying not to get, have to get that out. But if you want metallic, that's probably the best. Oh, the other thing I could use on it. All right. I got what we're going to do. If I have some gold, I think I do because it'll make it smell good and be really pretty. Yep, vintage gold. Look at what we got. Just have to think for a minute or two. And I'll get out my little baby stencils. That's what we're gonna do. And Elaine told me at um, Dee Dee's this morning, right, open the damn gifts and then we can drink the rest of the day. <laughs> open the damn gifts. All righty. Because nothing says Christmas like circles or squares, right? You get knitting, Jean. You've only been knitting six months. You better... Get that knitting done right now. <laughs> no, I know you enjoy it, Jean. So you just knit to your little heart's content. Okay, and on these, because I'm going to cut them apart, it doesn't matter how big a section I do on these because, like, your piece of washi is going to be cut out. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use the Finnabar, Finnabar. I don't know how to pronounce it. Eileen will correct me. Um, Art Alchemy Metallic Wax. This is the best stuff, and it smells divine. Absolutely divine. Lena, did you end up getting some of this? So now I'm going to end up with more mixed media. But they're in Christmas colors. Oh, yes, yeah, Sandra sent me some of the peacock. And then I got two more. Okay. Because I'm going to say if you didn't, then I'm going to have to probably fetch some up. The peacock is gorgeous. Oh, my God. Silver would look pretty on this as well. Maybe I'll do this one down here in silver because the silver is going to look a lot like white on it. I'll do it in circles, right? And we're going to cut it out. I'm so excited. I like using the junk that I buy. And I saw these brushes on Amazon the other day. They have repackaged them, you guys. 
Now they come in not just the bag, but you can get them in a really neat um, little kit thing. The smallest toothbrush. No, these are makeup brushes. Um, and they you can get them on Amazon. They come in a set. That's what I was just telling you guys. And I don't know why it popped, it popped up on my... You might also like... Oh, crap. There goes everything in my top shelf. Anyway, you can get them in like this whole kit of 10. Um... And they are just the softest brushes in the world. But what I love about them especially um, is they clean up so nice. Like, I'll take this brush over to the sink and put some little soap on it and just rub it in my hand. And they clean up beautifully, just like brand new. Yeah, this is the Finabear Alchemy Metallic. Wax, awesome stuff, awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. We're going to do the silver next. Since I've used the gold, I want to try the silver. Now, one thing, um, if you use the wax like this, um, where it's kind of thick, and then you heat it up, it will melt a little bit. But the nice thing about it is when this dries or you melt it, either one, it's permanent for life. <laughs> like, it's not going anywhere. You can use it on metal. I don't know. You can go look up the specs of the waxes. But you can use it so many different ways. I generally use it mixed media. I've never used it on anything else. But when I cut that up into stripes, it's going to look very cool. White would look good on this, too, and I might add some white. But next, I'm going to do silver on this one. And the silver is going to look... I'm going to leave this out because I might use it some more. Um, the silver will look like white, I think. But yeah, these brushes clean up just amazingly well, even with the wax, which is super. And it smells yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, there's old silver. And I don't know how many colors of this stuff they make. I really don't. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess nine colors, but I'm not sure how many it comes in. Yeah, you could brush the kitten's teeth with them. They're just not, they're too soft really to get um, too much off your teeth, I think. I haven't hardly used the silver. I'm imagining these first couple of rubs, It's there's going to be some gold left in with the silver, so it's not going to look real white. But I can always go back and add white. And these brushes are surprisingly cheap to you guys. Eileen, seriously, I want you to tell me, do you want me to, um, do you have plans on Friday? Are you going out to lunch with friends or do you, would you rather I stream or what? You need to tell me what I'm doing so I know what the hell I'm doing. Because I don't think, um, Barb streamed last Friday and I don't think Normally, unless I'm just absolutely mistaken, I don't think normally anybody streams Friday afternoon. 
So you tell me if you're going out to lunch with your friends or whatever, I'm probably going to blow it off. But if, if you're going to be sitting at home whining, I'll stream. I'm old here at 60. I'm older than you, Sue. <laughs> Eileen is a wit in the witness protection program. That wouldn't surprise me, actually. <laughs> she probably got the dirt on somebody. Why do you think I listen to every word she says? She must have something on me. Yes, stream will be nice. I haven't celebrated my birthday in 50 years. All right, then we're going to stream on Friday. We're, and so come with your ideas for the scavenger hunt list. That's one thing we're going to work on for sure. And then I'll do whatever else Eileen wants me to do. How about that? Oh, those waxes smell so good. They literally, when you're using them, your mouth waters. I'm not kidding you. All right. There we go. Those got to go over there. I think I want some little bit of black on here. Um... Let's see. I got out, oh, I got out the little poinsettia and the little Christmas tree. Look at, that would be fun washi tape, but I'll make that when you guys aren't around. I don't want to upset Eileen right now. Maybe just black splatterage. Do not water color or you'll go right to sleep. I'm not going to, what's it smell like, gravy? <laughs> God, Jamie, you're so funny. <laughs> it smells so crazy. <laughs> it smells, it's more perfumey. But gravy would be good too, Jamie. I love the smell of gravy and dressing. <laughs> smell like gravy. I'm missing a bottle of ink out of here. What the heck? Oh, the gray's right here. Never mind. Is that we use the black Bombay? I just want a little bit of black splatterage. I don't want much, so that's why I'm a little nervous right here, right now. French fries. <laughs> oh God. Well, no, it's. When I say perfumey, honestly, it, I I don't know how to explain it, but literally, it makes your mouth water. I'm not kidding; it does. All right, they're both going to get a little bit of black splatterage. And look at Eileen, I'm putting things away as I go. So when I'm done today, I won't have quite the mess. And I know that's really going to disappoint you, but I'm so happy about it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and rather than use my normal splatterage brush, do I have... That fan brush might work. What do you think? Yeah, maybe I'll get it on there. Okay, let's try this. Maybe this will be a good thing. Yeah, that's good. I'm just using a fan brush so I can control the size. If I use that other brush, I'm going to get splatterage and I don't want big splatterage of course now I have little splatterage everywhere and a finger that won't be clean for weeks to come but 
What the hell? All right. Cool, cool, cool. Not too much, just a little bit. I better hold it up because I know I've got the camera kind of far away. Let me hold this up. Yeah, that finger will now not be clean for weeks. S. Jean, yeah. There. There's a good part of it up there. Yeah, I have old tool toothbrushes. They're just not right here where I can get to them quickly. Can you see the gold glittery in it? I don't know if you guys can, but it's pretty. It's really pretty. Now I want to add just some white. So I'm wondering, should I write the white? You know, just draw like... <clears throat> I think white will be really pretty on here. Um... Or do I want to stamp? Oh, you know what would be good? Is if I get out that little tiny circle. Let's see. There we go. I keep all this junk to make circles. Um, yeah, I've got one that makes little tiny circles. So we're going to put little tiny circles. Probably the best would be, I do have some white ink. White acrylic could probably be the best. That's all right. Let me use some of this Higgins ink. I'm probably never going to use it to draw with, so I might as well use it for this. And if I ever buy white ink again, somebody kick my ass, okay? Do you have a bottle cap to make white? <laughs> Tindaloo, girl, we are thinking alike. All right. I'll just put a little bit out on here to stamp on. Don't need much. No, I'm not getting much this way. That's for damn sure. that'll be enough I think won't take much that's for sure and the thing about magicals is when I do these circles um, they may turn pink I hope not but they might do it down here on the edge so I might have to do acrylic Yeah, I'm going to go get acrylic. The ink's too thin, and it's not going to show up, so I want acrylic. I should have just done acrylic. Give me again. It was glued shut. <laughs> All right. Now we're on our way. Don't need much of this for sure. Of course, now I just got another thing out. So Elaine's going to be, or Eileen's going to be happy. Something else to mess it up. So now when it's done, dry and use an embossing folder to funk it up. Okay, how do you mean? Use the embossing folder like um, a stamp pad? Is that what you're talking about? Because remember, it's not going to keep its shape.
Hmm. You're not making perfect little circles like I wanted. All right, find different circle maker. Do the machine. It's not going to hold a shape. What makes you think it's going to hold a shape, Eileen? Huh? It's tape. As soon as it's through the machine, it's going to lose its shape. The embossing or the aluminum foil might, but the, the tape itself is not. Remember, I'm making washi tape. I'm going to cut this into strips and use it, right? Ah, oh, come on. Why is this white paint disappearing? Huh? Huh? I got a lot of that very close to the edges, which means the middle parts will get none. Duh. Got to remember that it's going to be cut apart. So, and not that every piece has to have every element, but you know what I mean, jelly bean. More junk to wash. That'll make Eileen happy. Bye, Anne. Have fun. Okay. Next. Looking back, what did Judy say that Elaine's... Oh, well, I missed it. It really is pretty, and I think when it's cut up, it's going to be really nice. And I've got one less, well, about an hour um, to go ahead and finish it. I think it would have been fun if we could have figured out how to emboss it. Um, and right now, one thing I've got to keep in mind is that the wax that I put on there is still wet. So um, I'm going to go ahead and heat it up and try and heat set that a little bit. But if you want it to keep its absolute cool shape like it has on here, I would set this aside and let it completely dry. Um, is what I would do. But I'm going to heat set it so the, the squares won't look like they have perfect edges. They'll melt a little bit and get a little um, fuzzy edged, I guess. Judy said she was born XXL. <coughs> okay. I doubt that, but okay. All right. Heat gun. And really, all I'm doing right now is heat setting that wax. Oh, it smells so good.
Huh. It dried better than I thought because um, it's not really bubbling. If you do this, put the wax out and then heat it immediately, you can see it bubble. This isn't bubbling that much, which is cool. But if I rub it, I bet 100% I can get it to move, and I don't want that. Not too much. Well, that surprises me. That set a lot quicker than I would have thought, honestly. It is pretty and Christmassy, isn't it? See, I feel better now. I did something Christmassy because, you guys, I am the original Grinch. I am not a Christmassy person. I do send out cards, and I do write some letters to, you know, like family that I don't see regularly. Um, and actually, there aren't many of them left. They're usually... Um, the older relatives, I have an aunt that's still alive. I have two aunts that are still alive. So they get letters and then a couple other people. But I actually sit down and write letters and send cards and try and keep in touch with people that I, you know, don't talk to most of the year, which seems a little stupid, doesn't it? But it doesn't mean I don't think about them. All right, let me see what I put over here. Oh, this was the Tyvek. You say, what did I sit over here? I wanted to see what the Tyvek would do, but I think it's still going to. All right. I'm going to get something wet and see if I can move that color off the tie back just because I want to see okay it's fairly permanent I mean I picked up some but I could actually turn that tie back into some really muted um washi if I wanted right so I don't remember what colors we used on here now. Don't have a clue. Zero clue. Zero. So, but this, if you do it on that, you get the, you get the sticky from the, but this was just an experiment. I wanted to see um, if the Tyvek would actually absorb the magicals, and it does but not a lot. So it will be pretty. This needs some white on it. So I don't know if I should add some white. All right, here's what we'll do. Because it's on Tyvek, I can't heat it. Uh, since I have to wash that anyway, we're going to go ahead and add some little bit of white back to it. I'm going to stamp with acrylic. Look, Eileen, I got something else out. That should make you happy. <laughs> and this sweatshirt I have on does not have paint on it. So, crap. I better be careful because I know me. It'll have paint on it before I'm done. All right, do I need, wait, I'll go ahead and add some white to this stuff that we made originally. I do like this. I need to add stuff to it. This was Eileen's colors. I'm not going to add a white to that. I'm not, because it's real. this is really muted anyway. And I put it on the aluminum foil because I wanted to see if the embossing powder would work. It did not because I think it's the surface of the tape that prevents the um, embossing powder to stick just where the fluid is. So if I'm going to finish, I'll just go ahead and turn this into mixed media. But I don't really want white on that. 
Oh, we could add some of that peacock wax. Why, why? This needs some black too. Oh, I still have black here and a dirty finger, so why not? So if you made this, you wouldn't have like a, I don't use an entire roll of washi tape anyway, so not having an abundance of it would not bother me. I would use it and be done with it. So, yeah, I like that. It's pretty cool looking. All right, and what was I going to do? I just thought of something I wanted to do. Now I've already forgotten it. Does anybody else do that? That's bad. That's just wrong. All right, where is, I like this size circle, the washi. Oh, I know I was going to get out that peacock colored wax and use it on here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. <clears throat> I think I actually like the black splatterage better, but oh well. I'm just doing this to go ahead and finish it now. I think it would have been cool with the embossing, though. I really do. Got to wash that. Um, all right, let me get out the peacock because it's going to be real bright. Peacock is pretty in the okay. We've got blue, green. The bronze is really awesome too. The bronze wax. Okay, probably the only one that's really going to look awesome on here is um, the peacock. I'm going to use the same little brush again. I just love these little waxes so much. Where'd I put my stencilage? Here we go. Let's see if we have any other cool little designs. I don't want to use the circles again because I've already got circles. Maybe I'll use the lines. The lines are always cool. Yeah, the little lines are good. I'm going to put this on pretty thin on here because none of these colors are real, real bright. That one looks dirty because I had silver on the, the brush, but it should start brightening up here in just a minute. Come on, come on. There we go. Now we're getting some green. I 
I don't know if they make an orange wax, but orange would actually be really nice on this too. All right, you guys aren't talking to me, so. All right. I like that. What else does it need? All right, if you guys got any suggestions, what else it needs, speak up now. This is really hard because of the shine of the, um, look at that. I knew I was going to put my hands in that. I knew it. Sometimes I am just not the brightest bulb on the block. I swear to God. Now it's dry enough. Quick question from a lurker. What brand is the wax? Hi, Melody. The um, wax is um, Finnebear. And that's F-I-N-N-E-B-A-R-B-A-I-R, -I, -I, I believe. No, F-I-N-N-A-B-A-I-R. Finnebear, yeah, Finnebear. Um, Art Alchemy, and it's wax, just her metallic waxes. If you type in um, Finnebear Art Alchemy, you'll probably come up with it. Um, hi, Z. Sorry I missed your stream yesterday. I was such an airhead. Z, I saw your tweet, and then in my mind, I think you said 4.30 Eastern, which I converted to 5.30 Central. Duh. So I I went to the computer at 5.30, and you were already gone. And it was like... I miss Z. <laughs> so, yeah. I think actually Xandra has this in her shop. So, um, Xandra's shop is Scraps to Beauty. If somebody wants to put a link in that in there for her, I think she still has it in her shop. I bought most of mine from Z. I think the only one I didn't get from Z was the Peacock. But that's where I got all my waxes, Paint and Paper Studios. If you just type in Paint and Paper Studios, you'll go to Z Shop. <clears throat> yes, um, Melody, hang tight for a minute, and um, Eileen or Jean or one of the mods will get you a link for that. But you can type in Paint or Paper Studios. Yeah, Sean is streaming today at um, 4.30 Eastern, which is 3.30 Central. You don't add an hour, you subtract an hour. That's what I did yesterday. I goofed up. I can type in paint and papers. I know Eileen will go get the link in a minute. Yeah. But yesterday, Sean, I don't know what the hell... I was thinking when I saw Z's tweet, I added an hour rather than subtracted and, um, yeah, missed the whole thing. I was pissed. But I have a fun stream to look forward to. And then I was sitting here thinking, well, why didn't I get a, a link? Why didn't I get a notification? I wasn't at my, thank you, you guys. Um, yeah, I wasn't at my computer, so, and I don't allow um, notifications on my phone, and my phone would be blowing up all the time. Okay, I'm just thinking if I want to add any more to this. This is really soft and pretty, so I kind of don't want to. 
If I did, I would add a dark green. And I'm just thinking, what dark green products do I have that I wouldn't mind adding? Oh, you weren't able to stream yesterday. Oh, okay. I thought you were streaming yesterday. Oh, Patty streamed. Well, where, that must have been an old tweet then. Oh, well. Anyway, let me go ahead and um, cut some of this up so you can see how I have cut up my washi tape in the past. I'll go ahead and cut this one up because it's going to be easy peasy. I hope. When you put the tape down and it's dry, um, the, the tape itself should... Ooh, that's got powder on it. I need to clean that up. Um, the tape should stay somewhat straight. So when you go to cut it later, this is how I've done it. Um, Eileen, you need to go to the potty people right now because I'm getting a ruler out. <laughs> All right, just pick a pen, any pen. And I don't know what size most washi tape is, but this um, this medical tape that I was using was five inches. So I could get four pieces of quarter-inch washi, which I think is what I'm going to do. Just measure it out. You'd probably be surprised out of that long a piece of tape how much um, actual square footage or linear footage you're going to get of washi. <clears throat> oh, my blade is so dull. Robert Vaughn has been jacking with this bad boy. I can tell you that. Holy crap. My blade is never that dull. Here we go. I just keep these nearby. I actually buy X-Acto blades in bulk. Because there's nothing worse than a dull X-Acto. Sweet Robert's in the doghouse. Well, no, he's not. I'll be nice to him. Sometimes he can't find his, so he has to use mine. Okay, here. There I am, lying for him. What the hell am I doing lying for him? 90% of the time, he has no clue where his crap is, so he has to use mine. That's the truth right there. I just said it out loud for everybody. And I'll make sure Sweet Robert's here for your birthday, Eileen. Oh, that's so much nicer. Look at that sharp blade. Like cutting butter. And I probably wouldn't cut this until I'm actually ready to use it, you guys. But if you do, um, the way I've been storing it, and this on the Tyvek might be a little hard to do that with. But a lot of times what I do, what I've done in the past, is just put the um, washi directly on my cutting mat to decorate it. And then I cut it. And then um, I don't have the layer of um, Velcro or whatever on the bottom of it. Okay. See this, I have the Velcro. So there, you guys want me to put it on something? But there's your washi tape. Let me put it against a white background so you can see it. Good.
like your mom with her favorite scissors. No lie. Who has touched my scissors? I was the same way with my sewing scissors and the kids. OMG. Don't even go near my sewing scissors. Because they'd be out cutting limbs off trees with it. You know, they didn't, they could care less. Velcro, what are you talking about? Velcro, did I say Velcro rather than Tyvek? You can tell that I've been drinking whatever Eileen's drinking. This is pretty though. Now I want to put it on something. Should I go put it in the Beast? Because I want to try it. I want to use it. All right, I'm going to go get the Beast. Oh, I have to show you guys my 2020 page anyway because it's so cool. <clears throat> Look at my checkerboard 2020 page. Isn't that awesome? I love it. 2020 coming up soon. That's the only thing I've done for 2020, mind you. But yeah, that's my 2020 page. And that this the way the camera is, it makes my book look so big. But this is the original beast. I've never put anything on the cover of this. An OCD page. That is the ultimate OCD page, isn't it, Eileen? It is the ultimate OCD page. And I cannot tell you how happy it makes me. It absolutely makes me so happy. I can't even tell you. It will be my favorite page in the whole book. Okay. And that was my fun mushrooms that I did the, what, last night or the night before. Oh, Wednesday night. For Survivor. Oh, I still play in my beast. All right, here's my Monday. I have nothing written down for Monday. So let's put some of our washi tape in Monday. She gets high doing this. I might. <laughs> or I might get high and do it. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let's pick one of these. This one looks pretty. Let's do it. See what it looks like on the white background. Yeah, the Tyvek started ripping. That's weird. Tyvek never rips. What the hell? Here we go. We'll put it right above the checkerboard. Ooh, that's pretty. I have to hold it up so you guys can see. Now that truly is one of a kind washi. Still haven't found my scissors. What did you decide on your duplicate pan pastels? Shauna, I have not heard back from um, Paula, but I'm thinking we can work out a deal if you want. Because I haven't heard back. Don't know. And I figure if you don't get back with me on something like that. Oh, well, sorry, dude. Don't got time to chase down the world. Make sure it's straight. Oh, I did, Eileen. Are you kidding me? I did make sure it's straight. I wonder if you could use soft chalk pastels like pan pastels. 
Yes, you could sue. There's absolutely um, no reason you couldn't. The thing is um, about, I think, any other kind of pastels, there's something about the formula of pan pastels and the pigments that are so rich. Um, I, I don't even know how to describe it, but I've used other chalk pastels. Um, and yes, you can absolutely use the, them the same. They're not going to give you that rich, saturated color, I'm afraid. That's That would be my thinking is I, I just can't think of anything else where you're going to get that rich saturation of color. Nothing else I've ever seen like it. There. All right. And that's what's left over when you peel it off. Trash. I know Eileen's going, don't throw that away. Save it. No, it's trash. Going in the trash. So there you go. Homemade washi. Um, let me write myself a note, Shauna, to um I don't even have a piece of paper here, geez. Got it, girl. I wrote myself a note, so I won't forget. Now you can say, I made this. I know, right? I want to show you guys some other washi tape that I made that I really love that Eileen will probably lose her crap over. If I can find it quickly. Well, crap, I can't find it. That's what I get for organizing, you guys. I should never organize. Um, but what it is, I made um, domino washi that was so cool. Like, I made a whole line of di domino washi. Domino washi is so cool. You just have to do it black and then sit and draw the dots and the lines. It's very cool. And you can make ruler washi really easy, too. I'll do a special show to <laughs> show Eileen how to do that. But I think to store this is what I was started saying earlier. Um, with the Tyvek on the back, I don't put the um, sticky side of the tape on top of the other tape. So there's always a backer. So I probably will put this on like a thread spool or I don't know, a straw or something like that. I don't know, because now I've got to figure out a way to store this. I'm going to cut this out real quick. Yeah, I got to figure out a way to, well, you know what? I need to go ahead and do it. This feels like powdery, like there's something left on it. Ugh, I don't like that feeling. But yeah, I won't make, I won't um, torture you guys. But before I put this away, I will actually cut it. It's quarter inch or half inch or whatever I decide I want. Um, so that I can store it. I won't store it flat like this. But my favorite from the whole day was the Christmas one. So I will definitely cut this out and use it on my Christmas cards probably. 
if I hadn't made this red background, I would be really pissed on the day. But I learned that you can't um, emboss on this medical tape. So that's what I learned today. You know the sad part about that? Tomorrow, I will forget it. What did Eileen say? I vote that she does a really thin version of it with eeny weeny dominoes. <laughs> yeah, the red, the red came out super duper. And I'm going to have quite a bit of tape on here. So I'll put it on my Christmas cards. I haven't mailed them yet. I haven't even finished them yet. So there you go. And I have not made any from scratch. I kind of thought I would this year, but I didn't. So, yeah. That's pretty. It really is pretty. You could use gilding flake on glue stamped on it. No heat. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You could. Yep. I'm just thinking about that. I'm not getting that mess out. Thank you anyway, Kendall, but I'm not getting that mess out. So I'm going to go ahead and end early today, I guess. And um, Amy has not been feeling well, you guys. So if you could keep Amy in your prayers, I would very much appreciate that. Um, yeah, just drop a prayer for Amy. I would appreciate it a great deal. Hopefully she's doing better today. But yeah, she's not been feeling good. So appreciate it if you guys would do it. So thanks for coming, you guys. I think I'm done. Now I've just got a mess to clean up. And maybe Friday. Friday, Eileen, tell me what you, what you want me to do on Friday to entertain your day. You want me to sit here and drink alcohol and cuss at you? I will do that. I will happily drink alcohol and cuss at you if that's what you want for your birthday. And then Sean will be on here um, actually in two hours. Something really, really messy. God, the messiest thing I do is what? I don't know. Last Monday was really, really messy. OMG. I'll think about it. Gilding flakes, yeah, because they go everywhere. You end up cleaning. It, it gets in the cat litter box. I don't know how, but anyway, we won't talk about that. I'm out of here. <clears throat> I'll see you goofballs later. Have a fun afternoon. And remember, Eileen's birthday is Friday. Bye now.